Cavities or tooth decay are the most common chronic disease of childhood, yet cavities are preventable. Beware of bedtime bottles. Avoid putting children to bed with a sippy cup or bottle. Not only can they impact dentition and the tongue's position in your child's mouth, but if your bottle contains milk, that milk can concentrate around your child's teeth, especially their molars, and put your child at a higher risk for cavities. Of course, we understand this might be the way that you get your child to sleep every night. Talk to your behavior analyst about using a feeding procedure to eliminate bottle drinking at nighttime in a child-centered way that will not impact your child's sleep. Form healthy brushing habits. You should be brushing your child's teeth twice a day or helping them brush their teeth twice a day. And if you're interested in talking more about the impact of fluoride or fluoride toothpaste, be sure to talk to your child's dentist or doctor. Usually it's recommended for children after the age of two. If you have a child who loves to brush his teeth and you've hit the jackpot, most children require reminders and all children require an adult to check in to make sure they've done a good job. Some children have a difficult time tolerating teeth brushing. If that's the case with your family, you're not alone. We can teach children to tolerate small steps in the right direction. Sometimes that involves tolerating vibration on the outside of their mouth, allowing a caregiver to help while they finish. We use procedures called shaping to make sure that we take very small steps with a child as our partner to get to that terminal goal. Work with your child's preferences. Electric toothbrushes are often recommended by dentists. When used correctly, they're the most effective at removing plaque and buildup. But tolerating vibration can be challenging. One tip is to start on the outside of your child's mouth and have them hold on to the toothbrush and begin from there. There are also many options in terms of including their preferences. Does your child like superheroes? You can find a toothbrush with that character on it. If your child has sensitivity to lights, you can find glow-in-the-dark toothbrushes that light up at night. One great option that's on the market right now is a 360 degree toothbrush that you put into the child's mouth and brushes all teeth simultaneously for 30 seconds. That way, the task doesn't feel quite so long. It may be that your child is sensitive to the flavor of the toothpaste. Make sure that you use a pea size amount, but if they don't like that minty flavor, no problem. Strawberry, kiwi, even monster eyeball. Any type of flavor is an option right now, and Amazon is a great place to look for different options. Leave sugar for special occasions. Between gummies, other candies, and soda, try and leave those for special occasions. Encourage fruit when possible. You might think that's easier said than done. I get that. If you have a picky eater or a child with really strong preferences, you're not alone. Estimates vary, but some say as many as 60% of children on the autism spectrum have some sort of food sensitivity or are described as picky eaters. If you think that you have a picky eater whose food preferences are impacting their teeth, talk to your behavior analyst. At LEARN, we collaborate with speech language pathologists and occupational therapists to evaluate your child's food preferences and make suggestions for expanding the types of foods that they'll tolerate. This might mean adding foods that are high in calcium to build strong teeth, like yogurt, and maybe even broccoli. World play dentist visits. If you're working with a behavior analyst, talk to them about introducing role play situations so that they can practice going to the dentist. That means that we might set up a situation that looks like a dentist's office or has some of the same requirements, sitting in a chair, bright lights, tolerating somebody looking or counting your teeth and have them say, ah, when prompted, we can also help them to get used to things that they might have to do at the dentist's office, like putting on sunglasses. One tip, have your child bring their favorite sunglasses with them. Raising a child with autism isn't a one-person job, and we're here to help. Follow along with our YouTube channel and find helpful tips each month. Comment below if you'd like to see anything next.